In HealthWorks, a Metro Detroit teenager makes news across the country because he has to undergo a double lung transplant due to vaping. He's now healing and speaking out about his mistake, hoping other teens will hear his message. Before Daniel Ahmet says a word, he shows a video to the kids at his former middle school. In it, you see an athletic, fun-loving, happy teen, but then something shocking. Suddenly, that same boy is fighting for his life. Now 17, Daniel is back at Our Lady Star of the Sea School in Gross Point Woods, sharing his shocking medical crisis. I was very active. I played varsity sports. I almost all A's. And my ultimate goal was to become an ABC on the military. His voice is subdued, but his message is strong. A casual vaping habit almost killed him. I spent 29 days on my support as a 16-year-old, and I only had a 10% chance to survive. Daniel anonymously made national headlines in the fall when he became the first vaping lung transplant patient. Henry Ford transplant doctors were shocked by the condition of Daniel's lungs. Doctors weren't sure he'd survive. What I saw in his lungs is nothing that I've ever seen before, and I've been doing lung transplants for 20 years. Daniel has admitted to vaping nicotine and occasionally marijuana, having no idea he was destroying his body. He wants other kids to know what he didn't, and it's working. Seeing someone close to me affects, it really um, just told me not to do it, like stay away. I thought that vaping was a healthier alternative to cigarettes, but we've been looking at it a lot, and now I know that it's close to or just or even more dangerous than cigarettes. Daniel, now very thin, must take 20 pills a day. This is not the life he ever expected. And he's pleading with kids to think twice about this habit that has turned into an epidemic. Please be smart think about the consequences that can be caused. It's not worth the temporary feeling that you get when you're dating. Daniel is starting a nonprofit organization focused on health and wellness as he wants to continue to teach kids about the dangers of substance abuse. We'll put a link to his website on fox2detroit.com. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Centifanti.